Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued three laws for this year after they had been approved by the Shura and Representatives Councils. Law 13, accrediting an air transport convention between the government of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the government of the Czech Republic, signed on January 22, 2016. Law 14, accrediting an air transport convention between the government of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the government of Georgia, which was signed on January 21, 2016. And Law 15, accrediting convicts transfer convention between the government of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the government of India, which was signed on January 23, January 2016. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa visited today Gravity Indoor Sky Diving where the first Arab Championship and the first GCC Cup for Indoor Sky Diving will be held in cooperation with the Arab Air Sports Federation and the Arab Sports Organizing Committee in the GCC. His Royal Highness met with the heads of the GCC and the Arab delegations participating in the championship and was briefed on some of its activities. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of sports in bringing together different nations and cultures, commending the role of sport activities in developing Arab and GCC sports status. He also praised Bahrain's hosting of the first Arab championship and the first GCC cup for skydiving, reflecting the international community's recognition of Bahrain's abilities in hosting regional and international sports events. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the efforts exerted by the organizers of the event, which reflects Bahrain's civilization, wishing all participants success. He also affirmed the government's keenness in supporting sports investment to enhance Bahrain's in sports and tourism competitiveness, noting the success of Bahrain in hosting various international sports events. For his part, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his wise vision and support to the sports field in the kingdom, which resulted in strengthening Bahrain's position on the global sports map. The heads of the GCC and Arab delegations participating in the championship also expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his support. They also commended Bahrain for providing advanced technologies to ensure the success of the event. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, delivered a speech in the opening of the annual FIFA Congress in the presence of FIFA President Gianni Infantino and President of the Asian Football Confederation, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, along with Confederation Presidents, FIFA Council members, and FIFA member associations. <laughs> Distinguished FIFA President Mr. Gianni Infantino, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, President of the Asian Football Fed Confederation, Confederation Presidents, FIFA Council Members, 
FIFA member associations, distinguished guests, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It gives me a great pleasure to welcome you today on behalf of His Majesty and my fellow Bahraini men and women to our country. This is a monumental day for our nation as we host the global football family under one roof. We do thank the FIFA for providing us with the opportunity to gather the greatest minds of policy makers and shapers of the football today in Bahrain. This adds another dimension to our national vision to be an island that hosts and supports, organizes, develops, and participates in success of the global sport movement in all its form. Developing the sports sector with its various components is not only a formal mandate that I am honored to undertake, but also one of my personal missions that I hold near and dear to my heart. I believe I don't speak only on my behalf when I say that from early childhood, sports presented the first encounter with impact and challenges of teamwork, how to form a united front despite having diverse backgrounds and abilities. And more importantly, how to accept and recognize the strengths and weaknesses of the individuals and the team as a whole. As the years pass, sports have grown to become an indispensable uh, part of our lives and at times the best icebreaker. This enabled us to grow with an even ever more appreciation from the tremendous role diversity, fair play and tolerance play as ensuring sports remain a force for good. Historically, sports such as falconry, horse racing, and camel racing have been a strong aspect of our tradition and culture as a nation. Evolving over centuries from means of survival to developed sports practices and more recently as well preserved intangible cultural heritage of humanity with the support of the UNESCO. With the development of our modern state in the 19th century, our leadership has advocated the value of sport in transforming communities, bringing them together and introducing positive social change. As a result, we have been encouraged and empowered as officials, sportsmen and women, and even sports enthusiasts to be champions for sport. In Bahrain, we don't dream small, we dream big. This year, Bahrain held its 13th edition of the F1 Grand Prix. In 2004, Bahrain was the first country in the region to have a F1 Grand Prix organized on its soil. But in 2016, our very own Bahraini F1 organizers were in Baku exporting our robust know-how in organizing a world-class race. As we speak in the Congress right now, Bahrain Merida team, the first pro cycling team from the region, is competing in the Giro d'Italia. I had to do that to make it more Italian. With the eyes of our local cycling talents on Nibali and his colleagues as a source of inspiration. Our Bahrain Endurance 13 triathlon team continues to conquer more races around the global and help us develop homegrown world-class triathletes. And most notably, our athletes have grabbed the highest number of gold medals from the region in the Rio Olympics. Having said that, football, no doubt, remains the sport that colors every Bahraini. Passions for football are not only peaking during local leagues, Gulf Cups, regional tournaments, and the World Cup, but also during local leagues in other continents. Such passions must be utilized. This is why we wholeheartedly support FIFA's and the AFC's vision for the future to enhance football's role as a powerful tool for social development and inclusion. On a competitive level, we take pride in our women's national football team. 
the first female football team from the region. Since its formal inception, the team has gone a long way and made history in 2014 as the first female team from the region to play against a European team. We support them and admire them as they continue to shatter cultural misconceptions whilst furthering their international reach. Our men's national team continues to learn from its various local, regional, and international expertise. We still remember vividly 2006 and 2010 when our national team was one goal away from the World Cup in the international playoffs. If any Kiwi is here, I'm going to have a talk outside. With the new introduction of a 48-team FIFA World Cup, we remain more hopeful than ever of future opportunities of our national team and other aspiring nations around the world to reach the World Cup. Mr. President, distinguished guests, it is a privilege for the Kingdom of Bahrain to become a meeting place in 2017 for the masterminds behind global football. My message to you as sports administrators is to encourage joint projects and cross-continental efforts. Let's widen participation and turn football into a true catalyst for diversity, tolerance, and excellence. In 2022, the FIFA World Cup, inshallah, will be hosted for the first time in the Middle East. The whole region will be buzzing with anticipation and enthusiasm. I turn my fellow football enthusiasts and urge them to benefit from the beauty of football that stems from its ability to transform you as individual every step of the way, whether you win or lose. In football, you learn by playing, so let's play. We hope that you all enjoy and enjoyed your time in Bahrain, and you will come and visit us again soon, inshallah. Thank you very much, wa shukran. First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the Kingdom of Bahrain's hosting of the 67th edition of the FIFA Congress. The event was attended by representatives of the 211 member federations under the umbrella of the International Federation along with hundreds of journalists and international media personnel who have been keen on conveying all the congressional proceedings. His Highness Sheikh Khalid asserted that hosting such an event is a positive development which reflects the directives of the wise leadership to organize various sports activities in the kingdom. He added that it also solidifies Bahrain's elevated status in the international sports arena and simulacity as contributes to highlighting the kingdom's significant progress achieved in this field. His Highness noted the efforts exerted by His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa that aim to promote Bahraini sport have greatly contributed to gaining the confidence and support of FIFA to host its 67th Congressional Congress. He also noted the role of Asian Football Confederation President Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa in leading Asian football towards more successes, which had a clear impact in supporting Bahrain at the international level by hosting this event. 